Okay, but my question is, how do we give impact or how do we do dawah if we meet the non-Muslim in short of time? For example, if we go to the shops or like maybe like most of the non-Muslims in This is a very good question. That how we do dawah when we have little time, we are going shopping. In our training program, we teach our students one thing is how to do dawah, one is how to initiate dawah. For example, I'd like to give you a story or incidents that about 10 years back, one person goes to meet his friend, he parks his car and tells his, fa his friend that, you know, I'm in a hurry, why don't you park my car? His friend reaches and says, I cannot see the keyhole. I cannot see the keyhole. How do I start the car? He did not know it was the latest car which has a push button. Now, even the small car has push button. But 20 years back, only the hand car had a push button. He was looking for the keyhole. He was looking for the ignition. There's no ignition. Push button. So one thing is knowing how to drive. One thing is how to start the car. So knowing dawa is one aspect. How to initiate dawa is a different technique. How to initiate dawa with your neighbor who's staying with you for 10, 20 years is a different technique. How to initiate dawa with your colleague in your office, which will be for about four or five years. How to initiate dawa with your colleague in the university or school is a different question. When you're maybe traveling in a plane and you know the plane will take two hours to reach the destination or three hours, the portion is three hours, dawa technique is different. Imagine you're traveling in a bus and you are going to be with your non-Muslim for 10 minutes. You can't tell, Mr. John, we have 10 minutes, I would like to speak to you about Islam. <laughs> what do you say, yes? No. For example, you are in the shopping mall, or if you are if you're traveling in the bus, and you know you have less than 10 minutes. If you don't do dawah to the non-Muslim sitting next to you, the opportunity is lost. Maybe you will never meet that non-Muslim again. So a dai, how to initiate dawa is the technique. What would I say? Brother John, you know the cross you are wearing? What is the cross you are wearing? I am asking you a simple question. What is the cross you are wearing? At the back of my mind was Jesus crucified. Peace be upon you. I have a matter of a dai. I cannot tell that I will do dawa with you. I ask him a simple question. What is the cross you are wearing? He starts explaining. I start doing dawa. If you meet a Hindu wearing a vermilion, Ask a simple question, what is that vermilion? If you are going in the mall, the Hindu lady wear a Manga Sutra, you know Manga Sutra? Manga Sutra is beads with black and gold, black and gold. Why do you wear it? Oh, you know, so there is a Hindu friend of mine told me, in Hinduism, the ladies wear Manga Sutra so that the people know she is married and no one will tease her. Ah, in Islam, whether she is married or not married, we aren't allowed to tease any girl. Now, Hindu tells me, we are wearing Mangal Sutra and Tika, so people know she's married, so no one will tease her. That means Hinduism, you can tease the unmarried girl? Where is the security? In Islam, whether married or not married, you don't have to deal any girl. So, you ask simple question. Which church you belong to? Simple question. Christmas? If it's a Christmas season, what is this Christmas? Oh, Christmas is the birthday of Jesus Christ, who is our God. Oh, was God born? You start out. You ask a simple question, innocent question, initiate because there is no time for introduction. I am sitting in my medical college, which is a modern, I am having lunch with my non-Muslim friend. I cannot say, okay, let us do dawah. I make a simple statement that, imagine that girl, she is not properly dressed and my friend is teasing her. I ask a simple question, what if someone teases your sister? I will break his neck, I will break his arm, oh, someone teases your sister. You want to break his arm, break his neck, you are teasing somebody else's sister? I am talking about modesty, talking about hijab. I make a simple statement, if some men in the world are not allowed to marry more than one wife, women cannot as a whole live in modesty. Ah, Zakir is talking about polygamy, let's have some fun. What do you mean by this? Now he is asking me the question. I make a blanket statement, if some men in the world are not allowed to marry more than one wife, women as a whole cannot live modestly. What do you mean by that? I said, do you have 10 minutes? I can explain. 10 minutes? I will give you 20 minutes. Thinking he will have fun with me on polygamy. Now he doesn't know I am already an expert on talking about polygamy. Correct? So I make a blanket statement. He tells me what is it? Do you have 10 minutes? 
I have 20 minutes. Now when he says I have 20 minutes, he is giving you full attention. Now as a die, now you are relaxed. Now you can talk. He will not say after 5 minutes I have got something to do. So he thinks he will have a, he will make fun of you on polygamy, not knowing we know statistics of Christianity, Hinduism, polygamy, know the Bible. We have the matter how to initiate the technique. If you go and attend the Dawah training program on Alidaya, it will be more in detail. Here we have limited time. Hope that answers the question, sir. So, uh We had 